So as you can see, the car is now fully complete. It's had the body shell fitted, uh, the wheels are on, the aerial is in, and it's, uh, it's ready to go. But I thought it would be prudent to uh, just finish off the set of videos to show the car actually running. So uh, I'm only going to do it on the bench because it's wet outside today. So let's just take the, the body cover off. This body cover fits, although I have to say it's not a perfect fit. It's really meant for a car that's slightly larger, than, sorry, slightly smaller than this. But uh, for the purposes of, of um, running the car, it's, it, it works fine. So we'll take the body cover off so that we can see underneath. Uh, we'll turn the controller on, sorry, turn the um, receiver on and turn the controller on, which I have in my hand here. Uh, and we'll just do a quick check on, on responses. So throttle response is good, uh, along with brake is also good and also uh, steering. Steering is working both in left and right direction. So it's pretty much ready to, uh, ready to start. So the first thing we need to do is put some fuel in the tank. There we are. Now I use 20% nitro fuel uh, to go into the tank just to make sure it's okay, um, which is a, a certainly a, a good mix for, uh, for most, uh, most nitro engines. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just push some fuel through the pipe into the carburetor and the way I tend to do that is by using a separate piece of pipe. So I have a piece of pipe uh, here which I just tend to use and all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to there we are, I'm going to connect it to the fuel tank, to the top of the tank and just blow through to pump some fuel through the pipe. So that puts a little bit of fuel into the carburetor ready to start. Okay, now with any uh, engine that I've just rebuilt, um, what I also tend to do is just help it, give it a, give it a little bit of a snifter to, uh, to make sure it starts okay. And I tend to use, it's Halfords, it's an easy start um, from Halfords, actually made by Holtz. And just a quick squirt into the air filter, just gives it some, uh, some ether to get started correctly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the trim up so that the engine, the carburetor is open slightly and hopefully that should be enough to start it. If it isn't, I'll force it open a separate way and I'll show you how we do that in a minute. So we're going to put the, um, the glow starter on. Oh, before I do that actually, one last thing I need to do, because I'm in my garage, I have a separate exhaust pipe which I'm going to put onto the exhaust here to take the fumes out and out, out of the garage so that they don't come into the garage. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. So there we are, we'll put the glow starter on and we'll see what happens. the exhaust to stop the engine. There we are. Just to show you there, I just squeeze the exhaust here just to stop the engine. That just chokes the engine and makes it stop. Uh, so it's a new engine, it's just been rebuilt, so you probably heard it stutter a little bit there, but uh, it will be fine. It just needs to be running a little bit. I'll also go through the car before, uh, before it gets sent out and just make sure everything's free because it feels a little bit tight there, so uh, we'll just make sure everything's free. But it's been a long time since this car's been run, so uh, probably needs a, a good run to, uh, to loosen it up a little bit. But there we are, that's the car, it's finished. I'll put the top back on. Oh, let's just turn the... Um, Receiver off and we'll turn the control off and there we go. We'll put the top back on and that's now ready for uh, for sale. So hopefully um, hopefully that series of uh, videos has helped you if you have a, either a TS4N or any nitro car. Uh, it's helped you to understand how to take it apart and rebuild it, uh, especially on the engine side. Um, but if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me uh, via, the, uh, via the YouTube channel. This car is now going to be for sale. It'll be on uh, eBay very shortly. And um, thank you very much for watching. So there it is. There's a full rebuild of a Thunder Tiger TS4N. Thanks very much.